Hi, so we're at Cape and Ray, first time here. It's a really great place, uh, really impressed with it. They've got some brilliant facilities here. We've got the dive shop, and obviously they've got everything in there that you'd normally expect to find. By the way, they've got all barriers in place and a one-way system in and a one-way system out at the moment for the COVID-19, which is really good. As you can see here, one way for shop, one way for cafe. So we'll go in this way. So there's a shop over there on the right-hand side. One of the really good things about this cafe is uh, unlike other places, you can actually come in here with your wet suits on and your dry suits, even when you're wet, so you can come in. So it's really built around divers and, and having a really nice experience as a diver. So you can get your food here, CCTV up there. Scuba Diver Magazine. So really got a really nice outside seating area. So we'll go and have a look at that. You get a lovely view of the lake from here. The sun's come out as well, which is even nicer. So just look at that view. So an outside seating area upstairs. So we'll go and have a look at that because you get another good view from up there. There's Carol, chicken away. So this is the upstairs seating area. So once you've got the food, there's a few tables up here, but you get another view from slightly higher up, of course. So we've just had our first dive at Cope and Ray, which was brilliant, so absolutely good. excellent. Uh, probably because we had such a good guide. Mark Evans, thank you so much for being our guide today. I know you've done this place a few times, once or twice. Just once or twice, yeah. I'm actually quite glad I managed to remember where everything was. Um, <laughs> yeah, because it was great to get the lads up here finally and for them to see why I like Cape and Ray so much. Um, the viz wasn't as good as it can be, but it was still compared to what they're used to. You it, was it. Super, it was super, it was like, See. <laughs> Everyone was saying how bad it was. I nearly never took my camera in. I thought, well, if this is that bad, there's no point. I'm so pleased I did because they got some great photos of the sturgeon, the uh, uh, the aircraft, and uh, you know, the vis for us, uh, yeah. it's all relative, isn't it? We it thought, is well, all relative. This is all right. <laughs> and I think, because obviously Mark knows where he's going, he's pretending he doesn't know where he's going, but he did. He found everything, and yeah. there's so much to see in here, isn't there? Yeah. So much to I see. I think we saw 70% of everything yep. in the So there's down still there. plenty more for you to yeah. see so and I'm trying to back. persuade them to come back in the winter the water might be colder but you can get mega vis yeah. so that's what yeah, uh, that's what I want next time we're happy to do that yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll look forward to that and yeah. uh, hopefully if it's that cold we'll be testing some some undersuits and some yeah. heated gear and some dry suits at the and kill two birds with one stone but thank you again yes, Mark, thank for, you, Mark. Uh, for being our guide today and uh, uh, finding so much it was, uh, it was well, great taking the time to come up and, yeah. and see us that was good that's what it's all about Getting out and diving. Yeah, he was. Absolutely. Yeah. So I've got an air fill station downstairs in the shop as well. You buy yourself a little tag, put it over the neck of your cylinder, and just leave it there. And then they put it outside for you to collect. There's always a dog on duty. <laughs> So that's the airfield station, nice and easy. Leave your tanks down here on the left hand side, then they put them outside. So there are facilities up there in the main block. There's showers, heated showers, hot showers up there, and toilets and other things. It's not open at the moment because of COVID, but when it is open, um, they've got that up there. But they also built this down here. Um, for the divers down here so they don't have to go all the way up to the main block. Um, so you've got toilet facilities down here as well. They've really thought about the divers here 
and what the divers want and need. So that's the main thing that's come about from all of this. I think from my first visit is I'm really impressed at how they're really thinking about all the divers that come here and it's it's a very relaxed atmosphere. So we're now going to the main entrance. So this is where you enter the quarry. You've got several areas where you can enter the water. You can do a giant stride. You can go in the little slope that's just here that we're now walking towards. Or there's a little rocky bit the other side. So as you can see, the little slope down here. This is where we entered on our first dive. Really nice and easy. It's not slippery. Get in there, a little bit of air in your suit and then put your fins on. So up there is uh, the cafe and the main block. Here's the jetty so you can do a giant stride on there. This rocky area simulates maybe going in from a shore dive or something like that where it's a little bit uneven. So that's really good for a new diver to get used to. So a good little touch here I think is if there is an emergency, there's a phone here to ring. We've also got a designated training area which is really cool. So you know that it's just for those new students or those doing a course. To me they've really thought about what they're doing and thought about the divers um, and how they're going to interact with each other. I think it's really good. What do you reckon Craig? Are you nodding again? Nodding, brilliant place, fantastic diving, great company. Can't wait to come back, absolutely worth it. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Bye everyone.